Hello and welcome everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the second episode of the Ismail campaign featuring the reworked Persians. This one is called Road to Royalty. There is an achievement that we're going for here. Uh, it has to do with capturing a bunch of nobles. Let's go ahead and get started. I have fixated on Ismail's leftover kebab this whole time, which he seems to have picked up on. I am skeptical of his generosity. But with all of my lingering questions, I will be needing all of the energy that I can get. Despite the fall of Shirvan, the Ak Koyunlu were only battered, not broken. Panicked by Ismail's swift rise, they assembled their forces near the village of Sharur, a place of strategic importance between his camps in the southern Caucasus and their capital of Tabriz. Although Ismail was horrifyingly outnumbered, the promise of battle lit a fire in him which spread to his men. They laid their lives at his disposal, for they knew that their leader was also ready to confront whatever fears they had. All right, our main objectives are to defeat the Ak Koyunlu and to capture Tabriz by bringing at least 20 military units to the flagged area in the city. We can also destroy Armenian markets, blacksmiths, and their trade workshop to loot extra resources. Our hints tell us that Ismail is restricted to the castle age and a population limit of 125. <coughs> Excuse me. We can coordinate with our Kizilbash allies. Good timing can bring you a decisive advantage against the Ak Kuyunlu's large army. The Ak Kuyunlu will take a while to train their army. Use this time to build up your forces and defenses. Gold is scarce, so you must collect relics, pillage Armenian estates, or trade with the Kizilbash to compensate. Your caravanserais will increase the speed of nearby trade carts. Um, I thought we could only build those in the Imperial Age, but we can check, I guess. Your scouts report that Ismail in yellow and his Kizilbash forces in red have set up a camp at the foot of the Zanzigur or Zangizur mountains, poised to face the oncoming invasion. The Ak Kuyunlu in green have assembled in Nakhichevan and Sharu in the west. They will dispatch Keshiks, cavalry archers, swordsmen, camel riders, and battering rams against the Safavid forces. The city of Tabriz, in purple, is located in the southern reaches of the map. Though formidable, Ismail can weaken it by capturing enemy nobles scattered about the countryside. Alright, so that's the target of our achievement. Um, doesn't sound super difficult. To the north, the Georgians in grey have arrived in retaliation for Safavid raids. They will attack Ismail with packs of Manaspas, Longswordsmen, and Skirmishers. In the Armenian region of Siunik, in orange, separates Ismail from the Ak Kuyunlu and is defended by archer units, infantry, and monks. Some of its buildings can be looted for extra stone and gold. <coughs> Excuse me. So, to recap, um, looks like we're in the east side. We have green in the west, um, so purple in the south, which we can weaken by capturing nobles. Georgians in the north, and orange separates this man. Probably somewhere in the middle, right? <clears throat> Sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Ari, we have been Salon. underdogs for far Salon. too long. Salon. Once we are rid of these tyrants, Ari. we will march on Tabriz and forge a new empire. From Salon. there, we will Salon. spread Salon. our Salon. cause. Salon. Okay, so we have, okay, I see, so we start with Caravanserais, but we probably will not be able to build new ones, so we'll need to protect these if we want to maintain uh, proper trade relations. Let's keep build production out and make sure that, oops, we can keep a nice solid boom here. Let's also try to scout the region a bit early to see what we can pick up from the Salon. media area. 
Sorry, Red, but I need to shoot more than you. Got two ships here. The body garrisons of Tabriz could prove costly for us. If we capture the nobles hiding in the countryside before the battle begins, then we might be able to convince them to help us. All right, so how do we capture the nobles? Ari, Ari. We don't have any stables. Nemo. Fix that Hello. little Nemo. stable here. Um, so it does seem like we have a time limit on this. Uh, they do look like... The nobles look like they are protected by pikemen, which is unfortunate. The enemy forces will reach us soon. Dispatch your orders to us, and we shall follow your lead, my sheikh. Okay, so we can employ strategies here. I'm gonna have them play defense. Hold the line, now. my Kizalbash. We must be ready Salon. when our opponents attack. As you wish. Ari, Sahid, Madan, Amade, Ari, Memo. Okay, I got 16 minutes left. Let's see how we can potentially get to these nobles. Those nobles are guarded by just some crossbows by the looks of things. Alright, unfortunate that we lose a knight here. Can we still take them on having lost a knight though? Okay, that is a lot of enemies. I don't know if we have a... I don't think we have like a super hard requirement to go after the nobles immediately. I don't think it's viable with what we've got based off of what Ari? I see at that Salam. single area. Ari, so instead, I'm going to stay home here. Keep getting the farmers out, keep moving up. Ari. Ari. Knights, hopefully not. We do lose a knight. Sucks to suck, I guess. They will regret turning on me. Okay, we still need a blacksmith. Also, would like to wall off. I don't know where the safest zone to wall off is. Probably, if I had to guess, something like this would be pretty good. Let's not get too over ambitious here. Okay, we got Bob Canero. Let's keep the villagers coming out. Would like to continue walling. Uh, let's wall this area. 
salon. Start building some houses here. Memo, memo, memo. Hurry. Memo, memo, memo. Memo, salon. Memo. Hurry. Memo, memo, memo. Amode. Memo. Get wall warehouse. Let's instead get hand carts. Start picking up some military techs. Salon. I would also like to get a castle Amode. online early if possible. Ori. Ori. Memo. Memo. Ori. Let's pull that section off. Ori. 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 this bill for here. We're out Memo. of stone. That's good. We mined out plenty. Ori. Shikarchi. Shikarchi. <coughs> Uh, let's hunt this boar. Ori. Memo. Ori. Salon. Omodahi. And build a castle, maybe right Memo. here. Omode. Let's get a university online. Memo. Ori. Mikona. Memo. Salon. Ori. Sahi. Memo. Salon. Okay, so it looks like we're under attack there. Let's get some more stables. Let's distract those Manaspa over there. Keep building here. Let's wall off this crossing here. Get husbandry. Chain barding armor. Memo, Salon, Memo, Ori, Memo, Salon, Memo, Salon, Mikonam. Okay, I'd like to set up some trade here because we don't have that much gold in the region. Seems like the enemy is still focused on our walls for the time being. That's okay. Salon, Memo. Memo, Memo, Ori, Memo, 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 Salon, Mikona, Omodehi. Omode. Ori, Memo, Salon, Memo, Salon, Memo. Yeah, I think getting some crossbowmen out would be useful too. Memo, 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 memo. I'd like to get Karandra on. We're low on gold. Gold is gonna be troublesome for us. We'll need to figure out how to loot some from the countryside soon. Let's get some more elephants of our own out. Some more gold miners. Let's get some more trade carts. Red is helping us defend for the time being. We're 
Still taking the defensive approach, so we're doing all right here. I think Kamranrod will help. Low on farming, low on space in general here. Yeah, we have red surging out here to defend us, so we're, we're okay. We got plenty of resources in the bank. Let's pick up Thumb Ring. Uh, let's actually skip Town Patrol. Get Archer Techs first. At our market, we can sell some food for gold. And try to branch out here again. Pick up gold shaft mining. Let's pick up leather archer armor tech. Uh, I want to get commander on archers out as an initial boost. Six archery rangers ought to be enough. All these wood choppers are idling now. We're rapidly running out of wood to chop. That's insane. We have cornered you at last. Lay down your weapons. We're prepared to fight. Lengthen my sword so that I may reach the enemy. Okay. Uh, we've had our pop cap already. So I think, yeah, I think I may have overboomed here. I am going to retire some villagers. I definitely overboomed here. Whoops. <clears throat> Okay, let's send these bills out here to my this gold. We have 48 farms, so light cap production should be very, very solid. Or a long one here. <clears throat> this would be a great boom if our pop cap wasn't so low. That's okay, let's focus on moving out and trying to take care of these nobles next. I think getting a few more stables out might be good in here. Oops. Oh, jeez. I guess this is the calling that we want. Let's bring these soldiers back. Alright, so far it doesn't seem too bad. There's a much needed villager calling from our side. Camels do all right against cattle archers. Let's try to get some more. Let's get these guys back to work. Sick though we are of your incursions, the Ottomans are our true worry. Let me offer you a deal. If you bring us a relic, we will let you be. We will await your decision. Alright. Um, 
Mere mod. Let's see. I can... Get extra resources from attacking Armenians, but the Georgians themselves seem to be... Not too much of our concern here. Amade, Ari, Farman, Amade, Farman, Ari. Let's uh, sell off some more food, buy some stone. Have you guys... Oh, well, I was going to build a castle here, but it looks like the next attack is already upon us. These guys have been mining gold peacefully out here. Alright. <clears throat> Need a monk to pick up relics. Need to also find a relic. <clears throat> Let us try this again, shall we? I was not paying attention last time. Let's rebuild our market <clears throat> right here. <clears throat> ah, sorry for the cough, guys. It's not too bad of a cough, all things considered. It's just a bit annoying. Salon. Salam, Tamir Khor, Amade, Mikorahi, Memo. Ari, Amade. Okay, we fended off another attack. We're in decent shape here. I'm prepared to mine out even more. Uh, stone if I need to here. Is that really the only relic that I could potentially grab? Okay, I'm gonna try to grab that relic and bring it back to my base here. Wait, I don't need bills. What am I doing? I need elephants, light cab. Let's get some stone out here. Salam, Memo, Hari, Memo. Mikona, Hamle. Okay, let's see if that squad can take care of those enemies. If not, we can queue up plenty of replacements. I'm not too bothered. Right, elephants here. This noble has swayed his district in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. Tabriz now trains fewer archer units. That is awesome. Love to see it. How's our monk doing? Oh, he's he's making his way right across the countryside nice and safely. Very nice. Do herbal medicine because why not? Okay, 
Peel these spearmen off of our cavalry. And let our cavalry do the rest of the work. The Armenians are super raidable here. That's the benefit of overbooming. By overbooming, I don't mind losing the kill. I had so many villagers. I had like 90 villagers. Even now, you could argue that I've boomed a bit too much here. Let's repair this gate. Has our monk returned? Now oh, here he is. Ori. And the Georgians are our temporarily allies. So let's uh let's scout up here and see what they're all about. Make sure the path is clear. He hasn't been attacked in a while. It's making me feel a little suspicious. Let's sell off some more food and wood. Buy a, few, a bit more stone. Have these bills build a castle here. Alright, path should be very clear. The Georgians don't give us any benefits. Okay, there's an attack incoming. Nice. Oh, I might have just lost all the food that they were carrying. Oh no, never mind. Very nice, we're still good. Let's carry some of these bills back in here. Let's rotate up to training ca camels instead of just light cavalry. Our monk made it back nice and safe. Okay, those bills over there are unfortunately not long for this world. I Persians they would come helping this Georgians. Not something that you see every day. No matter. At least we can finally get a good night's sleep again. Yeah, we're friends now. What? Were you expecting more from us? Very well. Take this horseman with you. Consider yourself lucky that we were this generous at all. Um, I wasn't expecting anything. But... 15 Elite Manaspa is pretty badass. They will work nicely with my army here. Oh my dear. Memo. Okay, it seems like our defensive strategy so far has paid off pretty well. Now we can focus on clearing out the countryside. And scouting for relics. Okay, once we gather all of our army together, I'm going to... Oops, this gate's locked. I wonder my villagers out of scope there. Once we gather our army together here, I'm going to start taking out orange, maybe weaken these nobles here, then go for this one. Uh, we need to defeat green, so green's over here, and we also need to bring soldiers to Tabriz. So we have two enemies. Oh, there's a relic here, all right. Oh, Very nice. This relic would have been safer to get. We can pick that one up for ourselves. Let the raid on the Armenians begin here. Memor. 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 
سلام مما سلام فرمان صحیح میکنم صحیح Okay, the Manaspas are here. These elephants are here. It's rampage time. Okay, receiving gold and stone in tribute. Get an elephant conversion off. Nice. Let's keep those fellas rolling in. Let's get more elephants online. We've got plenty of foods here so far. I think we just intercepted a green raiding party too before they're fully ready for us. I think the Manaspa fight better the more of them are together or something like that. So I'll keep them together. But we'll not really bother taking too good care of them here. We'll wait for the Georgians campaign to really utilize those guys. Salam. Ari. We are just terrorizing these folks. I want the relic that's in here. Okay, grab that relic, bring it back here to this monastery. More gold income for us, always welcome. And these war elephants are just tanks, man. So long as they're not getting converted out from under us by the AI, they're going to be doing wonderful work for us. What even is left of the Armenians? I guess there's this blacksmith over here. Doesn't seem like they have much more Ari. to speak of. This area is the Georgians, so... I really like the map design of these new campaigns. They feel... It's hard to describe, but they feel like very... realistic looking. The way that, you know, objects and cliffs and bushes and stuff are placed. Prior okay. older campaigns, you know, are much more basic. Not to say that they're bad. Um, they're still quite good. But, like, it's... It definitely felt more, much more like... Uh, you know, a map representing a location, or rather, like a like a, it felt much more like a game board. Whereas this is a game board by definition, but it feels a lot more real and grounded in the real world. Obviously, there's a lot of suspension of disbelief as well, but it just looks so nice. The scenery is so good. Okay, so there's a relic here. Are we being attacked? I think we're fine. I think I can shift these guys to aggressive. Strike our enemies early, my Kizilbash. Actually, no. We shall keep them on their toes. Hold the line, my Kizilbash. We must be ready when our opponents attack, as you wish. I think we just chill. Let's have you villagers go for a mill here. We pick up the free food in a bit. How do we get to those nobles? Do we seriously have to go all the way around here through this mountainside? Ori. Ori. Sahi. Okay, pick up the Sahi. relic, come back here. Ori. Ori. Okay, red surging forward in our defense over there, so I'm not super scared. <laughs> these, these, what the heck? 
Really? I gotta bust through a palisade gate? How winding is this path? Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm gonna lose this force here. But they they're they are tanky, man. What the heck? Alright, that was pretty pretty solid actually. Uh I'm gonna go for cab archers and war elephants as my army comp here. We inadvertently discovered a route directly into the enemy town. I'm not gonna lie, we did some really solid damage to them. And the Armenians haven't given up the ghost yet either. I'm going to build a castle up here to serve as a front line. Dude, those elephants lasted so long in that choke point, man. That was crazy. They're so tanky. 470 HP, 4 pierce armor. These guys, they only take 4 damage per cavalry archer shot. Green, I think, is trying to attack us. He doesn't realize that we're attacking him. We've got this frontline base going now. Let's keep these fellas rolling through. We're under attack here? No, we're fine. And green should be folding very soon here. Got plenty of gold miners here. Plenty of resources in the bank. Look at how much resource we have in the bank. We're just allowed to boom uncontested this entire time. Don't think it's even really possible for us to lose at this point. Rotate those onto gold soon. Oh, 
آری میکنم سلام آری آری مادن چی؟ Yeah, as long as red takes care of the purple attacks, I don't really care what he does. I think the defensive strategy for red, while I pincer my offensive attacks, is a great way to play this. Are my eco numbers too unbalanced here? 15, 19, 15. That's uh, 69 plus 15, 74, 84. Do we have too many eco units? I guess I guess I could loosen the number of eco units we have that a bit. Oh my day. Let me decrease the number of food gatherers we have. Oh my day. We got lots of resources and we got lots of things in queue, but we're having trouble on the front line. Simply because we don't have the numbers. We're calling green's numbers also, which is which is good, you know. It's it is good. We are making non-zero progress. But it could be faster if we had more numbers at once on the field to crush everybody. In order to be sure we're doing real damage here, I want to be killing production buildings. That's the way to tell if you're doing real damage. You're able to consistently call the production buildings here. Taking out one stable will already be a great step forward. What's this? Just a blacksmith? Alright, barracks down, archery range down. Let's get the siege workshop here. This castle remains standing, annoyingly enough.
But it looks like that's their only... Nope, they have a second castle. I stand correctly. Body. I'm gonna wait until I get a few more rams. Okay, let's put you folks uh, on gold somewhere, ideally. Yeah, over here. Farmon. There might be Ketrix over here guarding this castle. Gotta be careful of that. The castle's almost down though, so maybe those three ramps will be enough. Okay, so that castle did go down, but I think... Purple is coming our way to help green. I saw some elephants just now. Where did they go? That is a lot of elephants. Fending off purple's attacks now. That does slow our offensive against uh, Akakuyin Lu. But again, we've got lots of res. Not concerned. We're essentially just fighting off both green and purple now. Okay, green's in fact staged a resurgence here. I'm gonna have my ally go aggressive here. Our enemies early, my Kizilbash. We shall keep them on their toes. As you wish. Alright, let's see what our friends, the red, can do. I don't see their soldiers. They do not have soldiers. I don't know what that's all about. Let's have these guys take the fight to these nobles over here.
Okay, so Green still has plenty of military buildings, unfortunately. We're gonna be fighting an uphill battle up here as well. All right, Mr. Nobleman. This noble has swayed his district in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. Fewer infantry units? Wow. You'd love to see it. I'd love to see fewer infantry units. It's not like the cavalry is the only thing that has been relevant in this mission. Aha! Here they come! Let's go! My friends, the Reds, they have arrived to help me cleanse green out of this earth once and for all. Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up. You're not planning on subjugating us, are you? Well, we're not as foolish as you take us to be. Oh! Ari. Salam. We're enemies now. Alright. Uh, can't say I'm super surprised here. That is very inconvenient. Let's finish thoroughly trashing green here. We'll just need to hold off against the Georges for now. Is there a gap in my wall here? Okay, we'll have you guys stay home. Glad we built this castle here. We do have an excuse to thrash the Georges now. Okay, our home area is somewhat vulnerable here. Got to make sure that we commit hard and take care of our foes. Set these bills back to work. Let's have you guys wall the front. Set these bills for here. We're gonna lose this castle. Hold the line Let's go like back the on the defensive here. Must be ready when our opponents attack. As you wish. They've done their part. Wow, this is the first time that this has been legitimately extremely useful. I love that. So good. We lose this. We do lose this castle here, which means our trade line is in a bit of trouble. But we have red on its way back while the rest of us stay forward here. And the Akapoyunlu are going to be defeated very soon. Look, they just trashed all their own military buildings. More gold for us to capture here. Very nice. Curses! Bubbling imbeciles! We have the advantage! Yeah. Onwards! Tabriz is waiting for us! You guys had the advantage. And you threw it away. Dummies. Alright, very cool. Now we only need to do some more nobles over in this area. Uh, 
درمان آری آری حمله آماده you can even trade درمان. with the enemy market آماده. as insult to injury آری why not Why not make a statement? All right, these elephants are pretty painful to deal with. We don't have very many wood choppers. We do have a lot of wood in the bank, though. I don't think the Georgians are super strong, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crush them here. I'm gonna focus on the main objective. I will rebuild this castle up here. Mammoth. Gather our troops. Green has been thoroughly thrashed. We don't need to worry about them anymore. Let's see about knocking out the third noble. Fighting downhill, but our army is superior. Yeah, definitely not viable to go for those with our initial force. Not sure why I tried. This noble has swayed his district in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. Fewer cavalry units. Let's go. And we should be popping the achievement at the end of the mission here. The Safavids approach our walls. Report to the front lines and stave them off. Oh, they, we arrived at the front lines a bit earlier than I expected. Doesn't seem like we've called the enemy numbers oh, enough just yet. Let's start uh, sending units back here in the center. Salam, Ari. Salam, Ari, Ari. Memo. Amade, Ari, Ari. Those guys have trample damage. It's pretty scary. I'm gonna heal up with our herbal medicine. Let's clear out these Georgian guys. They should not have declared war on me, man. That was their mistake. Oh, 
سلام آماده صحیح There's a gold tile here. Let's mine it. There is a random purple scorpion there. That is so annoying. Um, let's send our hero unit. Oh, okay, it's not just the scorpion. Gotcha. Loud and clear. We lost interest. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Why does it feel like I have no military, man, despite being at PopCap? I feel like there must be like a something scattered around somewhere. Go on the offensive Strike now. Enemies early, my Kizilbash. We shall keep them on their toes. As you wish. Farmon. Salam. Amade. All right, Tunisians, I am coming for you. Abade, me konam. Stone pile here. Not that we need it anymore. I think it's cute that the Georgians are coming to raid. Look, they're they're swinging all the way around to try to raid. They think that uh, that they have a ghost of a chance against us. My soldiers should be prepping soon. Yep, here they are. And we are surging forward. This is a bloody campaign for sure. But uh, altogether not too difficult. 
Although this is only mission two, so there might be more difficulty coming down the line. That castle will be annoying to deal with. Our valiant leader seems to have taken a few scouts. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. So despite taking out the nobles, it does feel like Tabriz still forms like a non-zero threat here. They might deny this castle. In fact, they're probably going to deny this castle. But if, if there's a campaign that demonstrates the value of war elephants, it's this one. So I really appreciate it. War elephants are a pretty non-meta unit. And even in the... Or not the classic campaign, the historical battle that featured the Persians, war elephants weren't great in that scenario. But war elephants definitely feature very well in this scenario, both uh, on the opposing team and on ours. Welcome back, Ismail. Yeah, we're making proper inroads now. Okay, they are not long for this world. We're definitely making really solid progress here. I think Tabriz is rapidly running out of soldiers. Meanwhile, the Georgians have been utterly inconsequential. Welcome back, Ismail. Let's get back into the fray here. As soon as we take out this castle, we should be good to go. Truthfully speaking, we could ignore the castle too if we wanted to, but I want to go for style points here. Once again, another big map. This one, not too difficult. Um, there's no point where I felt terrified. But it was very fun nonetheless. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, Tabrizians, we'll end the misery for you here. Five soldiers. We lost a soldier. Wow. Oh, there's a tower here. No. Alright, our friends the Kizilbash are bravely fighting in now. I really underestimated how useful these guys were. This, this, a lot of scenarios, your ally is really nothing but really a market or cannon fodder, but these guys played a really good part, both in the initial defense, but also in the coordinated attack of the Akkoyunlu, so very, very big props to the scenario designer for that. Let us share this moment together. For today, Persia rises again! Nice. Guess I shouldn't have leveled the entire city. Oops. Whoopsies. But that is a victory, and we just did landslide election. Very easy achievement. You'll probably want to be grabbing that objective anyhow, so not really tough to get. As Karnais announced Ismail's arrival in Tabriz, the charismatic boy emerged Shah of Persia. The Safavid Order was now the Safavid Empire. As Ismail's army entered the Grand Palace, Nays and Tombak sounded in revelry of their victory as they beheld the wonders of their new capital. Yet as I watched the procession, I worriedly noticed my brother's absence. I knew he would never have missed the chance to celebrate such a victorious, joyful moment. Fearing the worst, I left and scoured the battlefield. Your brother died. After hours of frantic searching, I found my brother lying among a host of slain Akkoyunlu. The moonlight illuminating his lifeless face. My heart shattered as my pained cry pierced the air. I thought that I had calloused myself to these wounds, but the truth resurfaces like a knife as I unearth these suppressed memories. How I long to drive that knife into Ismail. I mean, okay. But that's, that's like what happens to soldiers, man. I, I mean, it, I'm sure it hurts, uh, obviously, but I don't, so like, don't get me wrong here. I think that the pain is very valid, but I'm not entirely sure if you can justify, you know, putting that blame on Ismail himself, right? There's no way to know whether or not Ismail like feels anything for any particular individual soldier, right? It just it's it's tragic but it happens. Alright, well, I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. Pretty fun map overall. Um Yeah. It's a very large map, lots of stuff to do. Getting to this guy was very fun. I accidentally discovered an entire side base passage here uh but yeah liking these new campaign missions so far thank you all for watching my name is the clever fool i will see you all in the next one Bye bye